in the history of Lena, uh, every time we have seen someone get to a point of really making a major breakthrough, something unfortunate happens and, and then they just basically either go quiet or get shut down or, or uh, and this is part of the reason why the MFMP was set up so that whatever we do it's out there in the open and that it's not funded by um, interests that may have a, 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 a yay or nay control over whether something moves forward or which way it moves forward. I'd like you to just maybe talk about uh, where you were um, and uh, how that came about and, and, and how you feel about that. Uh, actually, it happened with me, which happened uh, much uh, many times before with, with other uh, guys like Tesla that uh, all of a sudden the sponsors uh, disappeared. So I was on a holiday uh, this uh, February and early March and by the time I returned uh, our <clears throat> small research uh, team of six people have been disbanded, our uh, laboratory have been emptied and all devices were taken to an unknown uh, place and I uh, never and, and the so-called sponsors uh, um, never communicated ever since with me. They just disappeared. When you say so-called sponsors, um, uh, what, why do you choose that phrasing? Because uh, they told that uh, they will get uh, uh, funding uh, uh, for me. Uh, uh, they are able to raise uh, uh, the money. Uh, we, we made a, a, a small company here in Hungary and in Switzerland also. But uh, the money has been always extremely tight and by the time uh, we have reached uh, the, the breakthrough uh, phase actually when we were able uh, nearly at will uh, to make the, the transmutation all of a sudden their uh, behavior changed and by by I felt this tension but by the time I returned I found nothing so all my my personal belongings, microscopes, vacuum pumps, uh, and so on, have been all emptied. I got nothing back, just my clothes and my <clears throat> plates and, and, and forks. I understood they even took all of your computers? Yes, all the data was taken, all the samples, all the devices, even my, my personal uh, research devices like power supplies, uh, gas cylinders, whatever is necessary for research. I trusted them absolutely and completely. Previously, our research had been a kind of crowd uh, uh, financed uh, in Hungary. It was extremely, uh, I would say, uh, shoestring budget, but we have applied for European Research Fund. Uh, we got it uh, four times, but all these research funds were also embezzled, but it's the usual way uh, here uh, due to corruption. The usual way was that I had to team up with a company and the company got the money and then after they declared bankruptcy and they never gave me the, the research grant. That was the usual way, but these Swiss individuals uh, used a different uh, path. They gave me some survival money, for example, no salary for me. And uh, there were always uh, hated discussions whether can we maintain these uh, six people's uh, salary and so on. And for example, no heating in the lab or no cooling in, in the... So in the winter time it was extremely cold, uh, in the summer times it was extremely hot. Uh, so uh, no toilet or whatever, but, when, but we wanted to do these experiments and we saw the, the progress step, step by step despite uh, the, the technical difficulties. But when we had a, a reliable 
know-how because uh, this technology uh, requires lots of lots of hands-on experience, know-how. It's, it's not easy uh, to start like that. Uh, it takes two or three years to get used to the phenomena. So anyway, when we were at the breakthrough uh, threshold, everything collapsed. And it really broke my heart. Well, that's quite shocking, actually. Um, but it's not, obviously, you know, that's not the first time these things not. happened. What's particularly interesting in your case is that they didn't just stop the funding. They came and took everything you had. Sure, sure. Which kind of it, it suggests maybe there's something else going on. Um, you know, if, if they disagreed with what you were reporting, that's one thing. But to come and take all of the equipment and all of the data and everything. Um, and there was no discussion uh, whatsoever. They just disappeared. No communication, nothing. So for us, this is why the MFMP was set up. Because uh, you can't take something away that's already public knowledge. And they insisted extremely to secrecy. Previously, I had uh, a website, the Green Tech Info, where uh, whenever we had a result, we always uh, published. We, I always thought that this kind of research should be, should be public. But um, they insisted that even if they give me some money, uh, I should take out all these uh, uh, results from the website. So the website was essentially closed. Uh, no more publication whatsoever. Previously, I published uh, uh, research papers uh, in a small journal of infinite energy where all the ideas, the physics is published because I thought that mainstream, will, mainstream physics will, will never allow uh, to talk openly about uh, uh, the simple way of fusion as it has been done historically successfully uh, because they are not maybe they are not interested in successful fusion but uh, uh, this uh, damn uh, secrecy really uh, crippled me uh, I was not allowed uh, to share and to discuss openly the test results with other researchers uh, nobody else was allowed uh, to come to the lab and even I was not allowed to share the results with my own colleagues. So when I collected the, the test results uh, uh, from the uh, lab where the mass spectrometer uh, was, uh, so I got always the, the results, but I had no right to tell my colleagues what are the results, so they were actually uh, flying blind. This. Um this is the story of why the MFMP happened. And uh, we are trying to represent the complete antithesis, the, the diametrically opposed approach to science uh, to what you have suffered from. We find that when we publish data, that we don't even know the significance of it. And the crowd comes back and, and tells us, have you looked at this? What's going on here? And so on things that we would have missed and it's just shocking that someone would take that approach with you when you're doing this kind of research to basically shut down your potential to be the best researcher you could be because it's 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 the joy of discovery that drives the scientist the, the joy of understanding something about nature which wasn't known before. And what is that if you can't share it? What is any experience if you can't share it? And there is another side of experiments. Uh, you have seen only test results with the uh, microwave. But we had in another room uh, an even more exciting, uh, uh, let's say, line of research when uh, we have found a way uh, to, to burn uh, uh, common carbohydrates, carbohydrates, am, am I mm -hmm. good? But uh, with a significantly less CO2. Uh, 
So uh, this is possible. Uh, there is a, a based on this uh, cold fusion phenomena uh, to produce excess heat, and you don't have only chemical uh, process, but some physics in the ordinary uh, combustion. So actually, we reinvented uh, fire as the oldest invention of humankind uh, in another line of experiments, which I haven't shown, never went public. We literally reinvented uh, fire, which has the potential, of course, uh, let's say, uh, in your home uh, having uh, uh, an, an oven, uh, which is uh, able to, to produce uh, twice or three times as much heat from a given amount of natural gas. That is uh, uh, significantly reducing the CO2 uh, exposure. The MFMP would like to thank all of those people that have made possible the rebuilding of Dr. George Eagley's basic Nova reactor, which has been going on uh, over the last several months. And your donations have made uh, what he thought was the end of his experimenting life, uh, maybe becoming the most important part of his experiment life. And what you've helped by uh, also is data so that we can broadcast this, new bubble detectors fast and slow, uh, this meter so we can check the power. We also have the uh, PC830, uh, this microwave uh, sensor um, so that we can see if it's leaking, um, and this uh, wonderful uh, gamma beta uh, alpha detector which we will use um, and I'll do a review on this later. It's very affordable. Uh, it plugs into your computer, data logging and everything. It's very good. So I'll do a separate review on that. I'll also do a separate review on this unit and how this can be used for uh, Lena research, a uh, specific type of Lena research. Um, also, your donations help fund simple things like this uh, pestle and mortar, which was used to grind, uh, you may have seen in the video, uh, these um, carbon uh, spectrographic rods. And we've got two grades of uh, carbon powder in there, which was tested to be 100% pure. Uh, sample vials. Now, you might be asking why have you got so many sample vials? Well, we'll want to do several experiments with the carbon powder, and we've got more of these spectrographic rods coming. Um, but uh, we have bought a whole bunch of reagents to try various theories. Um, uh, one you might be interested in is this boron oxide uh, and uh, this copper carbonate here. So, once we've done the basic uh, carbon experiments, um, we would like to try uh, setting up a number of reactors. Got some highly accurate scales here, uh, safety equipment, and so on. So really, I want to thank everyone that has made uh, this rebuilding of the basic Nova reactor a possibility. Um, we could not have done it without your support, and uh, let's hope that the experiments are fruitful.